Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here we are back with this JS300 and what we got here is the engine and got a piece of granite, sandpaper, and we're gonna go ahead and try to lap these cases. So basically they match perfectly to each other and make sure it's not warped. So we'll be doing the crank side, stator side, crank side, and then the starter gear side. This is where the oil is. The starter goes in here and the JS300 have oil in them. So as you can tell, there's the oil port right there and there's the dipstick. So that's for the starter gear, which is right here. So all these parts will get cleaned up before installation, but <clears throat> since I'm installing and try to assemble this engine, it's already matched the gasket for the exhaust and should be pretty good. Uh, matched it with the JS300 Kirker pipe that I'm putting on the manifold. So everything should be matched. I cleaned this thing up also, polished it all out and uh, put a little chamfer so that way it would have a good mating surface. But yeah, that should be uh, it. So let's go ahead and lap all this stuff, get it all ready. Then we'll start cleaning up the parts, setting up the table. And uh, so that way it would be easier to install everything, have everything cleaned and prepped. Um, the crank, pretty good. No up and down play. So we'll go ahead um, and install it, reuse it. But other than that, let's go. So I got my parts all laid out, everything that needs to be installed into completing the full JS300 engine. Cylinders, cases, side covers, manifold, crank, light and flywheel, about 0.7 removed of a pound, and uh, gaskets, piston for the board out cylinder, stator, crank bearings, and a new wrist pin bearing for the rod. And uh, yeah, pretty much ready to assemble. Stator key or flywheel key. But other than that, everything's ready to go. And here's the starter which functions perfect and uh, yeah everything is ready to get installed
Well guys, here it is. The bottom end is completely put together, bolted all up, torqued to spec. <clears throat> so we got the bolts out here, and then we got the five bolts inside. So I went ahead, I used uh, Yama Bond 6B for uh, the cases. So that's how I sealed my cases, even though I did have 1211 and I had another one, but I just went ahead and used this. I've been having pretty good luck with that. Rotating pretty nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Lubed everything up, all the bearings with two stroke oil. That's what I got in here. And uh, yeah, pretty much now I'm ready just to start assembling the top end. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably start going ham with that. And uh, yeah, gotta get all this stuff on here. Let's go. Well guys, here it is. Got my head studs on, got those ready to go. Got my gasket, slap the stain on. Boom, just like that. Make sure there's no dirt, no nothing in here. So I'm running the stock one for now, but I'm planning to buy a JS, uh, not a JS, but a 650SX head gasket, which is the steel one, which is a little thinner. But for now, we're gonna run this one because I already have the head slightly machined. So I don't have that lip here. So we'll go ahead and try it out, see how much compression it does. And if it makes too much or too little, we'll swap it out. I'm hoping for around 170 maybe, but that's where we at. Now we'll throw our washers on and then we'll tighten this whole thing down. And pretty much the whole engine is complete except the whole side covers and stuff like that. And uh, which that's a little easy stuff. Got them acorn nuts on top. Get these all tightened down. But yeah, super pumped, man. This thing is coming together better than I thought. Just like that. Then we'll torque that and be ready to go. Let's go. Well, guys, just like that. Heads on, torqued, spec, everything's good to go. Now let's go and assemble all this stuff. And let's see where we can be at. And hopefully we can get this thing started soon. guys so here we have the whole engine put back together got the pto or whatever anybody refers to got that all put back on i had some boogered up threads right here because of some rust so i went ahead and cleaned that up had to chase some threads <clears throat> got that all fixed up and basically got this whole side put back together only thing left is putting some oil in there right there you can see you got to put the oil in the 300s and uh, yeah so now all we got left is doing this stator side which we'll be doing this in the next video because I got to do some time in advance because my flywheel is lightened and <clears throat> I'm running a high compression head and ported and it's bored over. I'm having an exhaust that's um, the exhaust side will is ported and everything. Just a lot of little things. So I'm going to try to run this at the highest potential possible. And hopefully we can um, 
you know, gain some extra horsepower. But other than that, for now, this is going to be it. And uh, next video, we're going to be doing the timing, explanation, and putting it all back together. Um, I noticed this nut was cracked right there. So luckily I got two spare engines in there in that box. And uh, I should have one of these in there. And we'll put that on. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully in the next video, we can start um, cleaning up the jet ski over there. That blue and there's that Kirker pipe and uh yeah start attaching it all together slapping that starter and hopefully getting close to starting it i don't think we'll start it then but hopefully soon and uh yeah stay tuned for the next video on this js300 where we'll be setting the timing and explaining how i'll be advancing the timing and uh other than that Stay tuned for more. Peace.